hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to bind data from database into checkbox list and radio button list using angular JS and here the final output let's select Ford BMW and Bucati and in the radio button I can able to select only one BMW Bucati or Ford that's it I have binded the data from database into this checkbox list and radio button list using AngularJS in MVC application. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in MVC, first we will check the table and the column names I want to bind into radio button and the checkbox list. The table name is a car which contains two columns car ID and car name. Now my aim is I want to bind this car name into a radio button list and checkbox list using AngularJS. So let's write the coding part. Open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial I am creating a new MVC application. Go to file, new, project. And from the web templates I am selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC checkbox list radio button list AngularJS is a project name. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, there is a scripts folder. Open that one. And notice in the scripts folder, there is no any AngularJS files. Now let's install the AngularJS. Right click the project name. Manage NetJet packages. Click that one. Select the browse. And And from the search results, I'm selecting the first option, AngularJS. Click install. Click OK. I notice in the Solution Explorer, the AngularJS files are adding in the scripts folder. And the AngularJS files are installed successfully in the scripts folder of our project. And also notice there is a green tick mark which means the AngularJS is installed successfully. Let's close this Nudget package window. After that, let's add the ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Right click the project name. Add ADO.NET Entity Data Model. The model name I'm adding our model click OK and from the model contents I'm selecting the first option click next let's create a new connection I'm adding SQL server name after adding SQL server name now I'm selecting the database name the database is a sample DB let's add that one Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got the connection string, and the connection string name is a sample DB entities. And I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. Click next. Let's expand the selected database objects, which is tables and DBO. The table name is a car. I'm selecting that one. Click finish. And here the card table is added to the .edmx page. After that, let's open Solution Explorer. Minimize the references folder. Let's create a new controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers. Add controller. The controller I'm selecting MVC5 controller empty. Add. The controller name I'm adding. Card. Add. 
let's close this window error list and here we got our car control now in this car control I'm adding a new method JSON result public JSON result get cars it's a method name now in this JSON result method I'm adding our connection string name which is sample db entities sd is equals to new sample db entities after that i'm adding the list class in this list class i'm adding a table name which is car i'm creating the object car list is equals to sd dot cars dot to list method and the return json method and the json method the first parameter is the object data so we are getting the data from this object car list add this object name comma and the second parameter is the json request behavior let's add that one json request behavior dot allow get semicolon that's it that's it we have done the coding part in this json result method in the car controller now to bind the data into a checkbox list or end radio button list we require the index view page so before adding the view page to this project let's build the application first build build solution and here we got a message build succeeded let's close this output message box now highlight the index, right click add view. The view name is index only and the template empty without model. Add. And here we got our index view page also. First in this index view page, I'm adding the AngularJS script. Open solution explorer. In the scripts folder come to the bottom. There is an angular.js file, just drag and drop on the view page. And so after that, I'm adding center tag. I'm changing the header, bind data from database into checkbox list and radio button list h3 mvc angular js horizontal line after the horizontal line i am adding the checkbox list control and radio button list control open toolbox expand the html folder here is the checkbox control let's add that one mm, the above we write binding checkbox list horizontal line binding radio button list open toolbox here is the radio button let's add that one also that's it we have added the checkbox list and the radio button to this index view page now let's write the script script tag let's declare a variable app is equals to angular dot module in the module the first parameter i'm adding the string name the string name is my angular js application name my and um, angular my app comma array semicolon app dot let's add the controller the controller method takes two parameters the first one is the controller name my controller comma i'm adding the callback definition is a function function dollar scope 
comma dollar http after that I'm adding dollar http here the http methods I'm adding um, method colon but in single quotes I'm adding get comma URL comma semicolon between single quotes forward slash the controller name is car forward slash and the JSON result method name get cars dot then function Now in this function I am adding the object to display a result dollar scope dot cars list is the object is equals to a result dot data semicolon. That's it. We have fetched the records from this get cars method into this cars list object now after the horizontal line I'm adding a do tag in this do tag I'm adding angular expression ng iPhone app the ng iPhone app director I'm adding the angular application name which is my app the next director I'm adding ng iPhone controller the controller name is my controller let's close the do tag and I'm closing this do tag after the radio button now what are the elements or controls are adding between this do tag it belongs to the angular application let's add the do tag again close this do now in this do tag I'm adding ng iPhone repeat is equals to x in I'm adding this this object now let's bind the data the angular expression I'm adding X dot I want to display the car name car name again the same view ng iPhone app sorry repeat ng iPhone repeat x in cars list close this do tag after the radio button angular expression x dot car name that's it we have done the complete coding part we are binding the data from database into this checkbox control and the radio button control now before run this application the most important we have to change the controller name open solution explorer and notice in the project there is an app underscore start folder expand that one route config.cs file open that one in the route config.cs file notice the controller is a home which is a default one just delete that home controller and add our controller name is car controller let's add this car and the action result is the index view page only which is this one that's it let's check the results google chrome and here we got the final output notice we have binded the car names into this checkbox list and the radio button list. Let's select the Ford, Honda and Bucati. Let's select the radio buttons Ford, BMW, Honda and Bucati. And notice here I am able to select all the radio button controls. Now I want to make this radio button list to a single selection. So switch to the coding part. Stop debugging. In the radio button list, 
just add name is equals to name property radio button list just give any name in this name property I'm reloading the browser link and here the final output let's select Ford BMW and Bucati and in the radio button I can able to select only one BMW Bucati or Ford that's it I have binded the data from database into this checkbox list and radio button list using AngularJS in MVC application.